Hello, I'm Ellen von Anwes. I'm from Germany and I'm a photographer. I got into photography actually kind of by accident. My boyfriend gave me a camera to my birthday and he said there's a plus, a circle and a minus. When the circle lights up, you shoot. And that was my crash course to photography. I went to Kenya and I started to take pictures of my model friends and also a documentary of the streets in Kenya, of the people just rushing through the streets. And I came back and uh, my friends, they had a magazine and I showed them the pictures and they were like, Ellen, did you do this? I was like, uh, yes. And that's how I kind of discovered that I had talent for photography. Catherine Hamnet, a fashion designer, she gave me her campaign. I only had my camera since two months. So we shot like a kind of a James Bond kind of theme uh, with a girl getting kidnapped in Paris. And yeah, that was how I started. And then very quickly I started to work for The Face and then I got the call from Paul Marciano from Guess. The first shoot we went to Nashville and we, the story was Claudia meets Brigitte Bardot meets Dolly Parton. So she was supposed to be a country western singer. Most of the things for Guess are jeans. But we had this black bathing suit and we saw this lake and I asked her to go inside. She was like, okay, I'm fine, I'm going in there. That's why she has a cowboy hat because it's the Western singer style and yeah, I did this picture of her and it's one of my favorite pictures. It just looks um, so stunning and it's very romantic. The first campaign came out, the Nashville campaign. Overnight, it was such a huge success. People really connected with these pictures. Claudia became really famous and it helped me in my career also and also Guess. Guess was really suddenly the brand everybody wanted to work for. A couple of years later, we went to Italy, to Via Reggio, this little Italian town in Tuscany. To this picture, uh, we were just in the room, like, and I always love to have uh, cool music on my shoes because it relaxes everybody, and everybody just started to dance. Claudia was just really getting into it. The window was open, and the breeze came in from the sea, and the hair was a little bit disheveled. Such a sensual picture, but also kind of very sweet, and it's not threatening, and I think people really relate to it. Of course, it was on the cover of the guest book. It was used for advertising. It also in the Austin Power movie. It's like almost 30 years ago, still people talk about this picture to me. It makes me very happy that even younger generations still like look at the picture and kind of enjoy it. So it's a great way to make it keep on living with our NFT story. So Naomi Campbell, I shot when she was 16 when she just arrived in Paris and she did the first fashion show and I saw her and I was like, wow, a star is born. You just could feel it, the way she was moving, the way she had this little chip on her shoulder and like so playful and cute. The story was a little bit like a 50s housewife kind of scenarios. The hairdresser had the idea to put those Coke cans in her hair because apparently in the time, women used to do that to straighten their hair. It was just that moment where she had the cook hands and I'm like, talk on the phone, like talk to your lover. Or she was like getting so into it and giving this like really strong, very sentimental eye expression. And you know, it was just, it became an iconic image. So the, the second image is Mickey Mouse ears. We were shooting for Italian Vogue and it was in Paris in the studio. And I remember I was very pregnant. <laughs> And that's why it's, I love this picture because actually I gave birth the next day. <laughs> so it, it has a really like a very special meaning. So we shot in the studio and Naomi was wearing roller skates. And at one moment the stylist just popped those ears on and we were just playing around with it. And you know, it became again like iconic. Yeah, people just still today, they always repost it on Instagram. They make art with it. It's a black and white image, but then I see it popping up in color and it keeps on living like this. I think it's beautiful. 
So after Claudia and Naomi, suddenly Kate Moss popped up. <laughs> and she was actually a little bit of a rupture of the supermodel because she wasn't as tall, she was like skinny, the supermodels were more curvy. And suddenly Kate comes like with like little crooked teeth, but like so charming and so photogenic. This picture was taken for American Vogue. It was a story about like 60s movie star uh, in Paris. But this picture actually was in the cinema. I love to shoot people in the cinema. <laughs> I love to create like different expressions. And she's like watching a movie. I don't know what kind of movie she's watching, but you know, you can make up your own story. That's how this picture came together. And she's like touching her lips and I love the two fingers and her expression also with glasses on her. So her eyes look even bigger than they are. And it's really one of my favorite pictures of her.